Hello and welcome to the video. Today we will be talking about the fairies of Ireland and how to avoid bad luck. My name is Sinead and I will be your host for this video. Before we begin, we must talk about something very important. Fairies are bad. Don't talk about fairies, don't talk to fairies, and don't even think about fairies. First rule of fairies, don't talk about fairies. The end. Okay, actually, no, that's not the video. This is a video about fairies, so we have to talk about them. I'm sorry. You may be wondering, what are fairies? Well, they are mythical creatures that live in Ireland and Europe. Sometimes they are very nice, but other times they can be quite scary. They are also incredibly magical. They live underground in places such as this. We call these fairy hills or fairy mounds. Some people believe that fairies are nature spirits, such as this, or that perhaps they are gods. They can be very dangerous, but you can make them happy with some presents, such as a bowl of milk, some cake, perhaps some berries, wet bread, or a child. Another very important rule about fairies is to always avoid angering them or insulting them. They are known to curse rude people like this. Fairies are known by a number of different names, such as the good neighbours, the fair folk, and simply the folk. Fairies can be incredibly beautiful, but they can also be incredibly ugly. Another place in which fairies live is a fairy ring. You can find them in grass as a ring of mushrooms such as this or this. They also appear as rings of trees in fields. They also live within very old trees, such as this, the hawthorn tree, and also in oak trees. But be warned, if you enter a fairy's home, you are in trouble. Entering a fairy's home is extremely dangerous and bad. Walking up to their tree, also bad. And stepping inside a fairy ring, the worst. They are all extremely bad luck and maybe you will never come back. Perhaps the most famous fairy in Ireland is the Banshee. She is a woman who screams when someone is about to die. Here is an example. So now that we've talked a bit about how fairies can give you bad luck, let's talk about how to avoid bad luck in Ireland. There are many ways to get bad luck, so please remember these rules if you ever come to visit. But first, what is luck? Well, luck can mean the same as chance. There is both good luck and bad luck. If you have good luck, that means that good things will happen to you. And if you have bad luck, bad things will happen to you. So no one wants bad luck. Rule number one of how to avoid bad luck in Ireland. Do not step inside a fairy ring. Again, they look like this. Or 
they look like this. If you step inside this ring, bad things will happen. Do not step inside a fairy ring. Rule number two, never, never break a mirror. If you break a mirror, you will have seven years of bad luck. For example, I broke a mirror when I was a child and now I wear glasses and also I am allergic to cheese. Rule number three, never walk under a ladder. This is maybe one of the worst things to do if you want good luck. For example, one time I walked under a ladder and then a bird pooped on me. Bird poop is actually very lucky in Ireland, but that day I had a job interview. Rule number four, never have an itchy nose. An itchy nose can mean that someone is saying something bad about you or that you will have a fight. For example, I had an itchy nose yesterday and now I have no friends. Rule number five, always say hello to a magpie. One magpie can mean very bad luck. If you see a magpie, say hello to it or you will have terrible luck and your life will be sad. For example, I forgot to say hello to a magpie when I saw it and I walked into a glass door one hour later. Rule number six, don't pick up a comb from the floor. It's a trap. You will get kidnapped. For example, I don't have an example because I am not stupid and I have never picked up a comb from the floor. Don't do it. Rule number seven, always pick up money. If you see money on the ground, always pick it up, even if it's only 10 won. If you don't pick it up, you will be poor forever. For example, I didn't pick up a coin and now I am a teacher. Rule number eight, never mess with a fairy fort. They look like this. Fairy fort or fairy ring of trees. For example, one of the richest men in Ireland destroyed a fairy fort and now he's bankrupt. He has no money left. Don't do it. Rule number nine, never drop a fork on the floor. If you drop a fork, it means that someone will visit you. For example, one time I dropped a fork and then my friend came to visit and she ate all my food. It was not a good day. Rule number 10, never spill salt on a table. If you spill salt, it means that you will have a fight. For example, one time I spilled salt on the table and then this happened. Rule number 11, don't talk about fairies or they will kidnap you. Remember our first rule of this video, fairies are bad. Don't talk about fairies. Don't talk to fairies. Don't even think about fairies. For example, what are fairies? I don't know about fairies. Stop talking to me. Stop talking about it. Don't do it. Rule number 12. This is called touch wood or knock on wood. This is how to avoid bad luck if you say something bad. Simply touch wood after you speak, otherwise the bad thing will happen. For example, one time I said, we don't have any tests this week. I did not touch wood. Then 
We had four surprise tests that week. <sighs> Finally, rule number 13. 13 is a very unlucky number. Number 13 is so unlucky that the day, Friday the 13th, is also very unlucky and you should avoid going outside on this day because it is so dangerous. For example, on Friday the 13th, I spilled a bowl of soup all over my school uniform at school and I cried and it was a terrible day. By the way, this video has 13 rules, so it is bad luck. You're welcome. Bad luck. Bad luck. Goodbye.